Welcome to your Samsung Gear VR. To start the setup process, remove your mobile device and install the required applications on it. After plugging in your Gear VR for the first time and going through the download and update process, the next time you plug it in you'll be guided through a tutorial that shows you how to use the basic functions of the headset. This is done by having you complete simple tasks like selecting the donut on screen or swiping to the correct picture. This also showcases just how sensitive and accurate the touchpad can be, as evidenced by the section where you can manipulate the time of day. Afterward, it'll show you how to access the universal menu, which I'll go into detail in a moment, and offer an optional controller tutorial, which may be completely pointless depending on what controller you're actually using. When you're all done, you have the knowledge necessary to do tasks like browse the Oculus Store, your own library, where things that you have downloaded or previously downloaded and deleted can be found, and access the universal menu. Here, which you can access anytime by holding the back button until the blue circle is full, there are five different things you can do. You can use it to return to the Oculus Home menu. You can use it to activate the pass-through camera on your phone, though make sure you don't put the cover back on the headset or else you won't be able to see anything. You can reorient your position so that wherever you are currently facing becomes the new default center. Do Not Disturb will hide any notifications while the headset is in use and is separate from the Do Not Disturb setting on your phone outside of the headset. This setting will remain turned on even between sessions so you never have to worry about it again if you don't want to. And finally, you can adjust the brightness. Volume control is done with the buttons on the side and can be done at any point without needing to access the universal menu. And I think that covers it. Please consider leaving a like and comment, and now that I can finally record Decent Gear VR footage, there are a lot more videos I can make, so go ahead and subscribe too if you want to see more.